Have you ever just thought to yourself, you know what, I wish I had a camera that I could just throw in my pocket, throw in my purse, whatever, man, purses are cool, I promise, especially with skinny jeans and no pockets, and be able to just capture, you know, go straight from, from capture to deliver, be it to social media or wherever, and not have to worry about it too much, especially in, in sensitive situations like at ballparks or museums or traveling with family and friends. I feel like the Canon SX740HS, newly released from Canon, is gonna be a great camera for you. It's got a lot of really compelling features, and in my opinion, Canon did a, did a really good job of getting you almost to the peak and not charging you nearly anywhere near the peak. So, really quick before we get into it, my name is Joshua Kerner. I hope you've been having a really great day today. This is a really cool camera and I'm really excited to talk about it with you. So if you're interested in more content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Help me know how to serve you better. The SX740HS is, is a very compelling camera to me because Canon did this thing and, and they did it surprisingly well where they, they said, you know what, price point matters. Sony is coming out with the RX100, Mark V, Mark VI, the RX10, Mark IV. These are fantastic imaging devices. These are, these are very professional grade tools for a lot of people. And that's really compelling, but their price point can be very difficult to accommodate. The RX100, uh, Mark V, I believe is a grand. The Mark VI is twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. The Mark the the ten Mark IV seventeen hundred dollars. The Nikon P one thousand is a grand. So when you're thinking about price point, the four hundred dollar SX seven forty HS is a steal. It's got a little bit of a smaller sensor, but it's got technology inside of it to help you capture better images in light compromised situations. It's got a very long zoom lens, so although it's not you know, optimized for out of focus parts in your image, you are going to be able to put those in if you manipulate your camera correctly, you know, by, by pushing it a little bit more telephoto, by zooming in just a little bit more. The SX740HS has a bevy of features like 4K video, 1080p video, a flip up screen, Canon's great uh, touch functionality. It has a few weak points though. It's a contrast only autofocus system. Canon has one of the most highly regarded autofocus systems in the market right now, and that is dual pixel autofocus. And they've elected to not put that in the SX740HS. That's a bit of a shame. However, they did put in the 4K. They did put in the Digic 8, which is their most recent and their, their latest and greatest image processor, and that's really important. So the images that you're gonna be getting out of this, the video that you're gonna be getting out of this is gonna be much better just because of that processor than, you be, than you'd be able to get if it were a, a, an older model. At $400, I think it could be worth saying, you know what, I'm gonna move up from the 730 to the 740 just because of that new processor. And that's kind of what I'm talking about because Canon, Canon put a great, long lens is a, is a really cool option where it collapses nice and tight into a good size body with great ergonomics for many people with good features probably not professional grade features because there's no raw shooting options for stills the 4k is probably going to be a bit compromised in terms of resolution the 1080p probably not going to be you know professional grade 1080p but it's going to be usable and more than usable and so I think what Canon's done is they've gone 80%. They've put in 20% of the effort, gone 80% of the way, and then met the consumer, you, yourself and myself, more than halfway on the price point. That $400 price point really kind of pushes me over the edge on this because the DPAF is probably gonna be a bit of a more expensive solution to install, especially on the sensor that they're not, the Canon's not you know, as intimate with as the sensor out of the ADD that's made it into seven or eight other cameras by now. They're not going to be as comfortable doing that because they have to hit this price point. They probably spent a fair amount of money on putting that lens on there. They probably spent a fair amount of money on putting that processor in there. And so Canon's taking care of you in other ways that are, that are meaningful. The lack of a microphone jack, frustrating for some people like myself, but 
for a lot of people, that's not going to make a whit of difference. The contrast detect versus DPF, for me, it's going to be a little irritating. For a lot of people, it's not going to make any difference. And I, I want to challenge you to not take, you know, what someone who's very invested in the camera world is saying as gospel for what your buying decision should be because what my needs are and what your needs are could be very different. I absolutely want to respect those. And, and as I'm thinking through all of this, it's like what Canon's done, they've put in so many great things. This is a camera that's compelling, right? It's not just 80% of the way there. It's not just 80% of the RX 100 series cameras that we've seen recently. It's, it's more than that because they've delivered a product that people can use seamlessly to capture moments, capture memories, and then deliver to social platforms, deliver to you know, a computer to be able to print from a Shutterfly or whomever your, your printer of choice is, such that you can be more connected with who you are and where you've been in moments that mean a lot to you. And, and this is a camera that I think is really compelling because it enables more people to do that with the feature set and with the price point. So that's what I have to say on the subject. Thank you very much for your time and for your attention. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did motor drive all over that like button, think about subscribing if you're interested in more content like this, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.